Hi, I'm Buntag. Good morning, everyone. I'm at the SMC side mall today in Cebu City, and I just want to do a video that I should have done, well, probably over a year ago now anyway, so let's get on with it. As you'd appreciate, living on the side of a mountain can get very boring very, very quickly sometimes. And you know, I've not got my own TV there either. So although I really enjoyed playing video games all my life, there's no point, you know, it's impractical to buy myself a console because I've got no TV, plus it's too big to carry around while I'm travelling around the Philippines. So over a year ago, the Nintendo brought a little handheld device out that was perfect for me. I didn't need my own TV and it was small enough to carry around. So I thought, right, we'll come to the SMC side mall in Cebu and come and pick one up. Now, for those who don't know what I'm babbling on about, this is a Nintendo Switch just here that I bought. Um, you'll notice the joypad there on the left. There's a blue and a red joycon that slots into place there. They click down either side. And unfortunately, the model I brought, the left joycon, the blue one, it didn't click down into place properly. So basically, out of faulty Nintendo. So anyway, at the hotel, once I'd realised it was faulty, I thought, right, I better take it back. Because we're only in Cebu for like, I think it was a week at the time. And we're having to go back mass batty two days afterwards. So of course we brought it back, packaged it all back in the box from the hotel. And then brought it back to the shop. But then this is where the problem started. Now in England, if you've got faulty electrical goods like that, you just take them back to the shop, you know, and within 10 minutes, as long as you've got your receipt still, you'll either get a replacement, you know, or your money back full refund. But here, it's slightly different as you'd expect. I took it back and explained, you know, showed the girl everything. It said, oh yes, so it says, but unfortunately, we can't give refunds or replacements. So I thought, well, oh, that's a bit strange. She says the policy for the shop is you have to send any faulty goods back to Manila, where they'll replace, you know, get them sorted out then, and then they'll post them back to your address which is okay if you live in a, you know, a city or a big town, so you've got an actual address. But you know, I'm living on the side of a mountain in the middle of nowhere, so I've got no postal address or anything. You know, there's nowhere they could send it back to. So anyway, this was about 9.30 in the morning, something like that. And the poor girl, she was in the shop on her own. There was no, you know, no other assistance. So there's just me in an angry mood because obviously I was upset about the new Nintendo I bought that was broken and more upset that they were going to have to send it to Manila, you know, and couldn't just give me a straight replacement like I wanted. So anyway, the girl, bless her heart, she really, really did try her best. What she did, she had to phone up her supervisors and just see if there was any way I could get a replacement or anything, you know. So she said, leave it with me, so we'll see what we can do. And straight away she sent an email off to a supervisor to explain the situation, what had happened, and if there was any way we could do it and just get a replacement or a refund without having to send it back to Manila in the first place, as I said, because it just wasn't possible to get it sent back again to me. So yeah, <laughs> she said, just leave it with me. She'd sent an email, she says, well, can't do anything until I've, you know, I've got a response back from that. The next minute there was a phone call and she had to answer the phone, it was one of the supervisors trying to get it sorted out. She explained the situation to the supervisors as well, but then they had to go even higher up to the next supervisor and try and get you know, permission from there to see if they could just release a replacement for me. So all this time we are just here waiting, the poor girl, she was on the phone, she was sending more emails out because bless her, she was really, really trying her hardest to, you know, to help me. In the end, she said, just leave it with me, but it could take like three or four hours to sort out. So if you've got anything else to do, you know, just go and do it and we'll come back later and see. So that was that anyway, really, you know, we've got nothing to do. So we just wandered around this mall for three or four hours. We did check after about, I think it was about two hours, we'd come for something to eat, come back up again and went in the shop. And while we're in the shop, she was still on the phone to you know, one of the other supervisors. And she sort of just went like that. Then she got off the phone and she goes, sorry sir, not just yet, I'm still waiting for an email from someone, you know. And so I said, okay, we'll give it another hour or so and I'll come back again and see. So in the end, anyway, it was literally three or four hours later. We come back up to the shop. And just as we walked in, the girl was just getting off the phone and she sort of smiled a bit of relief. She was so stressed. I say the last three or four hours, she'd been emailing and phone calls trying to get this sorted for me. And you could see the stress in her face. 
but literally just as we walked in, she was putting the phone down and uh, she says, yes, sir, we can give you a replacement. So, you know. Right now, now I've told you all this, luckily I've turned up again today to buy a couple more games for the Nintendo. And this girl, this is Stacey, and she is the one that helped me for, what, three or four hours that day? Phone calls, emails, everything. In our office. Yeah, in the office, as she says, in the office, but we got it sorted, didn't we? It was perfect, we, everything was okay. Yeah, she's, <laughs> she didn't really want to be on the camera, but I've sort of bullied her into it, because I thought, after how well she treated me, and she really did her hardest, you know, to try and help me out, I thought the least I could do was just say thank you to her. So anyway, that's Stacey. So really, although the Philippines gets a bit of negativity now and then on things like the customer relations and customer satisfaction, you know, people like Stacey make hell of a difference here. And as usual, I've took up far too much of your time, so I'll go now and stop babbling anyway. Thank you very much for watching. See you later.